Uh, thanks for coming out. Again, my name is Mason. I'm part of the technical team here at Coney. Um, and what we're doing today is just giving an in-car driver experience for people who may be familiar with Coney, have never driven on Coney's, have some interest in Coney's. It's just a, a, an idea that we had to get some drivers in the seats, you know, prove that what we're we are offering, what we're saying that our shocks do actually, you know, perform and, and will do on the street. So uh, basically what we've got here set up is a full line of our products. Um, the orange that most people are aware of is our street STRT. Uh, it's kind of an entry level, non-adjustable damper uh, for someone who's ready to upgrade their shocks, may not be ready for a full blown adjustable suspension uh, where they need control of rebound damping, but a great entry level, uh, price budgeted, entry level shock uh, for an enthusiast. Uh, the next, what we're most known for, our sport yellow rebound adjustable shock. It's a manually controlled uh, option where you can fine tune the rebound damping forces to maybe match a set of lowering springs you've got. Maybe use the car on track during the weekend. Uh, drive it back and forth to work, you know, as a daily commuter car, but something that you can adjust for the drive to the track, get to the track, crank uh, the rebound damping up, and then you'll turn it back down for a, a nice smooth uh, commute back home. And then what we're here today to promote is our new uh, Coney Special Active line. This is the newest generation uh, of our selective technology. Uh, it is a, a shock that is, I call it kind of a hybrid of both. It is a performance shock at heart, but without the compromise of ride quality. Uh, it does a great job in filtering things like your uh, expansion joints, potholes, uh, sewage covers, uh, rumble strips on the highway, uh, entering and exiting bridges, things really sharp, harsh impacts. This shock does a, an, an excellent job at filtering out uh, those harsher imperfections that are oftentimes a nuisance when transitioned into your car and your chassis, just to improve the overall driving experience. And that's what we're here today. Mix is gonna jump behind the wheel here for you, and we're gonna take his S-Drive, see what he thinks. Good driving, so. All right, so we're heading over with Mason. Yeah, to first do we're gonna drive. jump in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump in the active equipped car. We got two brand new 2018 uh, 330i's set up for you. We're gonna get in the Coney equipped uh, car first. We'll let you do a quick lap, come back. We'll do a sure you know your initial experience without having a baseline of the factory uh, OE equipped car, and then we'll jump in the OE and do the same loop. Let's go. Oh, let's check it out. Uh, there you go. No, I put it on manual. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. If that's how you want to do it, one Yeah. All right. Sure. <clears throat> so we're going right here. Yeah. I'm really going to let you feel, experience the car, and let you take it all in. Next right. So, so far, super smooth road. And then once you get past that 30 mile an hour sign, you can kind of start to go up. If you want to drive the whole way down, you're fine. Already? Yep. <laughs> no, I thought that was a police. Go ahead. You can pull on the side of the road here. It's not right, it doesn't feel right, but it will all make sense in just a short, short time. Okay. So we're actually driving on the grass and sidewalk to feel the shocks. I do have somebody behind me. Fine, go ahead and make it right here. And you can do the same thing down this road and there's a couple storm drains that, that you can feel. Definitely, I'm not feeling anything. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the road. It's kind of funny. No. Let's see, where is it? Can we go to D? 
the end and then right? Yep, we'll go all the way to the end, go back out and head back in. So we've got this little one here you can swerve over. So you kind of get the idea of what the shot does. It filters out this very harsh high impact. Yeah. Very, very smooth drive. And, you know, as I mentioned, these are all brand new 2018 330Is. Uh, this car has 939 miles on it. The only, only thing we've changed is put the Cooney active suspension struts and shocks on this car. Factory springs, factory bump stops, everything else is, is as it come from the factory. still has the new car smell. <laughs> it's kind of strange driving on the side of the road. Yes, it is. The first couple of rides, it was a bit strange for us as well. Yeah, especially but, when you have people following you. <laughs> yeah. Thinking that they're going to dial in or something. Yeah. But it is, uh, it does really well as far as showing the right. capability of this suspension package. And I think you'll, without you know, pushing a bias on you too much, yeah. I think it'll be obvious as soon as we jump in this over here just in a couple minutes. Okay. Yeah, All right, this is car number two. We're gonna check out to see what the difference is. So what is the difference before we take off between these two cars? The only difference in these two cars, other than a few comfort features, are that this car is equipped with a factory OEM BMW suspension. Okay. All right, so let's see what we have a difference. Should I wear a neck brace or something? No neck brace? No, you're good on the neck brace. Okay. That's what the waiver's for. <laughs> oh yeah, we did have to sign a waiver. In the same route, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Uh, so probably should have went out the other way. Here we go. <clears throat> Just remind me of that turn again. Sure. Again, brand new car. Uh, 901 miles. Okay. <laughs> Here. And back on the sidewalk. This feels like we're driving off-road. Yeah, you can feel the difference. <laughs> it's amazing how quick you can tell the difference. Yeah. It, it truly is. Cool. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to avoid some of the holes this time. I'm not worried so much the feel of us going over the holes. I just feel like I'm gonna ground out the car for some reason. Will it scrape? Maybe. We haven't scrapped it yet. No scrapes. <laughs> Will I hit a tree or a sign? I hope not. Great. Got it. It 
does. What it kind of feels like in this car versus the other car is when you're at a car show and you're going to be showing your car and you take the little drive off and then you have to go out to the grass so it's all bumpy. It's kind of like that except we're going faster. The other car just felt like we were on the road. the side of the road there but it was a lot of we're in like an industrial area so there were some questionable items that were out there don't know pop a tire Mason, it rained out how long ago? Uh, I would say rain stopped probably 30 to 35 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago, approximately. The roads are completely dry. Welcome to Florida and humidity. It's not often you get the keys to a brand new 3 Series. This is the first time driving. Matter of fact, um, we just did 11 days out in California from uh, basically the Big Sur up through Napa and was driving a Mustang GT. That's why really interesting. BMW is nice. I think Mason is missing his lunch right now. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> <clears throat> So tell me a little bit about your tour. Uh, it's a five week tour that we're going through. Okay. Um, our headquarters, uh, Coney's Distribution, is located in Northern Kentucky. So we started the tour uh, with some stops in Ohio, Indiana, uh, and in week number one. Week number two, we spent some time up in New York and Pennsylvania area, um, spending the beautiful week here in Florida, Central Florida, um, then heading to Georgia on Thursday, Friday for the Steeda event there. Um, home for the weekend, back at it uh, in Texas for week four, and then wrapping up the tour for week five in Nevada and Southern California. So what does your entourage look like during um, that trip? Sure, so we've got about three to four different guys that are cycling in and out, um, so you're not out of the office too long. Um, so you'll come out, do a week, maybe head home for a week or two, okay. come back out. Uh, this is my first week, uh, and then uh, another gentleman uh, as part of our media team, uh, he has a few people also that are, he's cycling in and out, uh, that will be along for some of the rides. Great. Trailer up all the cars. Yep, we've got uh, a transport company uh, worked out that pick them up at the each of, uh, end event, mm -hmm. meet them in the morning, unload the cars, wipe them down, get them nice and pretty for everybody, uh, and then do it all over again. Sounds like an interesting gig. It's, it's been fun. They give you any time in the areas to um, kind of explore? At night, yeah, we can go out and we'll, we'll find a nice place to eat. Uh, other than that, unfortunately, we don't get to take the cars with us. Right. <laughs> so we do have a rental car, okay. um, as nice it would be. But, but yeah, we have a few, uh, few hours at, at night to kind of wrap things up. See if we can not miss it this time. No rush.
Well, thank you very much, Mason. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining us.